every year for the last few years. One of the most closely watched and controversial bills at the South Carolina State House is the one to legalize medical marijuana. And every year the bill has fallen short despite significant bipartisan support. State House reporter Mary Green explains what its future could be this year. The legislature will only be at work here for about another month before heading home for the rest of the year. Anything lawmakers don't pass before then dies. Medical marijuana is among those bills that now hang in the balance. It's been nearly a decade that we've been fighting for this. And I think that especially I say this for many of the veterans, we're tired of fighting. That's why this group that included veterans, parents, nurses and pharmacists gathered at the state house on Tuesday, urging state representatives to take up the bill to legalize medical marijuana in South Carolina. My daughter was six when we started that this. She's 16 now, so this is well over half of her life that I've been trying to get legal access to this medication that I know wor works for her. The bill called the Compassionate Care Act only allows for use in oil, salves, patches and vaporizers, so smoking marijuana would still be illegal. A dozen medical conditions, including cancer, multiple sclerosis and epilepsy would qualify for a prescription, which doctors would need to approve in person and only certain licensed pharmacies would be able to dispense the drug. It is the most conservative, tightly regulated medical cannabis bill in the country. The legislation has already passed in the Senate, but it sat in the House for two months without getting a hearing to this point. If the bill doesn't get through the House in the next five weeks, it dies until at least next year. This bill puts in the infrastructure for a huge marijuana business in South Carolina. I don't see it as being a priority. But, you know, I'm not the one that controls that, obviously. Among the people who do is House Majority Leader Davey Hyatt. He told me this bill hasn't come up for discussion yet within the Republican caucus and doesn't feel like there's a huge urge within that group to take it up. But Hyatt adds that doesn't mean it's dead, while acknowledging time moves quickly and the priorities are many in the final weeks of the session. This bill is assigned to the House 3M committee chaired by Republican Celeste Davis. Davis told me she's in the process of forming a special committee of some fashion to take testimony on this bill, and she says she anticipates that'll get started before session ends here next month. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Now, if this bill becomes law, it would make South Carolina the 40th state to legalize medical marijuana.